This is Saint of the Day for April 29th from the Franciscans and St. Anthony Messenger Press. Today we celebrate St. Catherine of Siena. From an early age, Catherine of Siena knew her mind. She also spoke it. A bright, happy, imaginative child, Catherine liked to be alone. She spent hours in her room in prayer. At age six, she reported a vision of Jesus. At 12, she told her parents she did not wish to marry. She briefly thought about becoming a nun, but instead chose to remain a laywoman and immerse herself in Dominican spirituality. She devoted herself to the care of the sick during famines and plagues. Catherine also attracted disciples of her own who supported her calls for unity and repentance during a chaotic period of 14th century church history. Though she did not learn to write until later in life, she was a powerful advocate for church reform. She met personally with Pope Gregory XI. His successor, Pope Urban VI, valued her advice and her tireless work for church unity. Catherine of Siena left behind nearly 400 letters. Her major work on the spiritual life, the dialogue, is considered a spiritual classic. She is the first layperson and one of the first two women to be named a doctor of the church. She died in 1380 and was canonized in 1461. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, franciscanradio.org. From the Franciscans and St. Anthony Messenger Press, this is Saint of the Day.